What do I always say? Check out the young new artist. That's Father Iconic right there. Hey, see? I've been seeing the name pop up, got some recommendations. I wasn't knowing Father Iconic sounded like this, bro. Play fire. Definitely go check out Father Iconic. And now that I'm knowing, you should expect some reactions to do time. Definitely, because I'm knowing now. And, um, yeah, see? Do what needs to be done. I'm giving it a follow real quick. I thought I did, but I didn't. You know, now we locked in. You already know. Check out Father Iconic. I'm about to get into this. Duop Kane Valid. Yeah. Duop Kane is valid, but then, you know, you gotta check out the song called Valid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go through and listen. If I don't say nothing, don't trip. I'm gonna go back and say stuff. You know, so Underdog 3, you know, I'm gonna check it out. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see me real quick. You do you already knew the song I was talking about, see you know him. Yeah, you see you know him. I see you in the chat. I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Barrel and Boss, I'm at the yeah, you already know. Check it out them Barrel and Bosses. But we don't get into this duo real quick. You know, come on, do up OG. You gotta check it out. Let me see come on. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do up to do notes. Okay. Don't Nice. This is like classic doo wop sound, you know. Got the nine nine production tool. Like you said, that's a good pairing. Three three three. See, look, bro. I swear, bro. But three three three, yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. That shit is nice. He said, you know, I do gotta check out the tape eventually, but no, no, we don't check it out or something. Doo wop is a type of artist, bro. Like, I know what he's doing, and he's doing. His sound sounds like him. He's very unique and like he can do certain things that only he can do, like the, the certain notes. Only he can hit them notes that I'm like, oh yeah, I know it, it sits right in my ear because I like, expect it. I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, he is dope. And this song is cool. It's very nice to me. It's just like, you know, classic doo wop sound. It's like certain songs 
were locked in from you catching it at a random time. Like, oh, it's, oh, it's a doo-hop song. I hear a doo-hop voice. Oh, yeah, this shit fire. Boom, boom. Save it. You keep listening to it. Boom, lock in. But when I hear this, it kind of reminds me of another doo-hop song that like, I already locked in. You know what I'm saying? It's good, though. It's definitely fire. There's nothing wrong with it. Because if it was, you know, I pointed out. Because it's like he's not going for some other type. He's going for his sound. And this sounds just like doo-wop sound. It sounds right. I'm fucking with it. I just want to highlight them notes in the beginning. That's the only thing. I'm going to mention. I'm not going to hold you This is nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Nah, nah, look what your exactly. He only get past it. It's like that, that first note was nice. It was like, oh, anybody can do that note. It's like, oh, that's kind of nice. Who's that? But then watch. Hmm, like See, he's the only person that could hit that and it sound like he do. Because the thing is, another artist who I can think of who does do notes like that, Trippy, right? But when Trippy do them high notes, it don't hit as nice as do I hit them high notes. But Trippy hits hella other notes that sound hella nice. So it's like, it's no, you know what I mean? I fuck with Trippy Red Heavy. Because he is like. People always say some shit like, oh, he's trying to look like Cardi or copy Cardi or something. No, nigga, he just, he likes that sound, so he's going in that direction. But he influenced hella niggas and, bro, like, he he helped a lot of niggas and, like, just work with niggas. And, like, he don't be, like, weird about collaborating with brand new people. It's like, bro, he helped, bro. He, he's dope. He sounds, I've been listening to him. He sounds fire, bro. But it's like, when he hit the high notes, he be like, eh, he, he kind of yelling more. It don't sound as nice as when Doop hit them notes. Doop like actually sing up there, and then like hit the auto tune though, and do a little warble. So it just sound unique. It's like a unique type, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, Jay's do similar, but it's not that high. Yeah, hundred percent. Cause like that it being that high, it's kind of trademarked to Doop. And like you know, Trippy do it sometimes, but like it don't sound. It's not a, the same type of vocal projection. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like it's kind of like, it's kind of crazy. It's like. They bring a lot of energy, bro. It's like spreads out. It's like, it's like, it's like yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's one of the highlights. Then. That's the only thing about do I saw. Sometimes I randomly forget. Now I'll be expecting. Uh, snares or claps you know what i'm saying but i'll be like oh yes yeah, it's, it's like a 50 percent chance that it won't be snares you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah you know let's do a trademark you know definitely it's nice because you don't get used to it you know if you're not already that's definitely cool i'm definitely giving it like if it's a classic doo trance it's of his sound you know definitely yeah definitely check out more doo i'm gonna check out more soon <coughs> excuse me god damn but yeah that's definitely been all right that was fire, bro. Check out Underdog 3.